excuse me about this little bit of a pause, but had some things come up, so here we go. I really, I really don't remember, man. I mean, like, I just put the bottle. I know you I used remember, the bottle. Do you remember taking the beer bottle out? Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. Right. I ain't gonna leave it there, man. I took him out. I took him out. Did you put the whole beer bottle in? Yeah. I, the I whole did. bottle? She was asking for it, man. You know, I did it. Okay. I did it. All right. And then, then beer bottle, then what's next? The, I think I used my dig between the beer, beer bottle. I didn't care at all because it really, uh, there was blood. Once I, you know, with the beer bottle, it was blood, man. I mean, I hate blood. So the, the beer bottle caused her to bleed? I think so. Did the beer bottle break? No. No. Not that I, not that I know. It didn't break at all? No, that I know. There was, I mean, do you remember, was there any sharp, was there any, you know, if it, if a piece of it broke, it's a glass bottle? Yeah, it's a glass bottle. I'm, I'm asking, is it? Yeah, yeah you're asking me. But it, so if it wasn't cracked, it shouldn't be sharp, right? Shouldn't be what? Shouldn't be sharp, like it will cut you. If it's not broken, it shouldn't know, be sharp. It shouldn't be caught. Right. But remember, man, we're talking about a bottle that didn't speak. Right. So as soon as you took the bottle out, she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. That was blood. I know it was blood. And where was this at when this was happening? That was. That was in the closet. Trying, trying to move to the to the bathroom. Man. I really, you know, it was crazy, man. Everything was crazy. Everything was that just together. The, the, the break, the door, everything was. Was she was, was she standing was up? One woman, man. Right. Was I was she, wrong too, man. Was she standing up? Was she up and like walking? No, she was like a uh, four four point position. She like on her hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were gonna have sex with her doggy style from behind. Exactly, exactly. And I don't know if we did it from behind. I really don't remember. I think so too. So. Okay. How did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Walking. Oh, so she did walk. Yeah, she did walk. And she was she was wrong, but she was okay. But she was bleeding from the clo She started I bleeding did. in the closet. I don't know if she started bleeding in the closet. I know I see blood. I see blood. I didn't realize, but when I see my hand, it was blood. Okay. And then in the bathroom, I know there's blood coming from her pussy. Okay. You know, and I tell her, and she said, it doesn't matter, it don't hurt, huh? Okay, baby, what? Well, what do you want me to do? Put your arm in me. Like, very sure. Uh, yeah. But she was like, you know, was when, I, when I stopped putting the arm and then, like, like five minutes after that, she told me, I'm going to get out of the bathroom. I need to throw up. Okay. So when you were in the bathroom, in, in the closet, cor correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is when you put the beer bottle in her. Yeah, in the closet, I think so. Yeah, in the okay. closet. Okay, and she was on, in what position? She was in like a like a doggy style position. And you were behind her. Yeah, I was behind her. Okay, and but you and you put the beer bottle inside. I her. put the beer bottle inside. Now, was it a situation where you just just put it in, or were you moving in and out? I'm moving in and out. Moving, I'm moving in, in and out. Okay, you know? and that's when she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I see blood in my hand. Once we went to the bathroom, I didn't realize it was blood. You know, and she walked to the bathroom, and I went there. I see my hand. It said blood. Okay, but and I know that's a the beer bottle. I know it has to be. Okay, is did you did you put your your arm or your fist inside of her in the in the closet as well? No, I didn't. That that, that I did in the bathroom. Okay, when you got when when you got into the bathroom, what position was she in when you were? Same position as the by the beer bottle. She Same. was on the floor. On the floor. On 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 all fours. Yeah, she was like a doggy stop position. And you were behind her. I uh, behind her. Position. And she said, and she asked you to put your. She asked me to do it, and I told her, "Baby, are you sure? Am I gonna hurt?" She said, "No, I don't care." You know, and I tell you, you got blood. I said, oh, "Okay, he's not hurting." What I gather is that Fidel is claiming that at some point after he got done with the beer bottle, he put his arm inside Maria, even though she was bleeding. He claims the bottle didn't break inside her. He also claims he doesn't remember what part of the bottle he inserted into Maria yet. When the detective asks him seconds later if he put the whole bottle inside her, he says, yes, adding that Maria was asking for it. He remembers removing the beer bottle and thinks that's when Maria started bleeding, to which he then continued to penetrate her with his own anatomy. But due to all the blood, he couldn't finish. Because, you know, he hates blood, and there was blood on his hand. According to Lopez, 
This all happened in the closet. Maria, he claims, then got up and walked to the bathroom herself. Fidel states that she was drunk, but still fine. Which I find very odd since she was bleeding from her private parts and Fidel later states that she wasn't on her period. It was then in the bathroom that Lopez claims Maria asked him to put his arm inside her. He said he asked her if she was sure and informed her that she was bleeding. He says Maria said it was fine because she wasn't in pain, so Fidel proceeded to do what he claims she wanted him to do. But let me read you a small part of the arrest form that Detective Christopher B. Piper submitted based on his testimony of what he saw when he arrived on the scene at 5.09 a.m., roughly one hour after Maria Namath was pronounced dead. I observed the descendant lying on her back naked on the bathroom floor inside the doorway. Her head was facing out into the hallway. There was blood observed on the bathroom floor, on the walls in the hallway, and on the doors. There was a large amount of blood observed on the floor inside the closet. There were also what appeared to be chunks of bloody tissue on the floor inside the closet. End of quote. Chunks of bloody tissue in the closet? What in under God did poor Maria Namath go through in that closet? This doesn't seem like the work of a beer bottle. This sounds like the work of an absolute rabid and sadistic animal. There's no way that Maria was damaged by an unbroken beer bottle so badly that chunks of flesh were literally ripped out of her. It also doesn't take a genius to assume that she couldn't possibly have walked to the bathroom and requested that Fidel stick his arm inside of her while chunks of her were lying on the floor in the next room. And there's absolutely no way she didn't feel any pain. The mess that the cops discovered on the scene was reportedly so bad that they thought they'd stumbled upon a home abortion gone wrong. But Maria Namath was not pregnant. Detectives ask Fidel if he put anything else inside Maria. They then mention a couple of other items that they found lying on the floor of the apartment, and they inquire as to whether or not he used these items in the same manner as the beer bottle. He asks them to name these items, and one of the officers proceeds to list off the following. A flashlight, a coat hanger, and hair straighteners. Fidel Lopez comments saying he might have used some of the items on Maria, but he remembers for sure his arm and the beer bottle, but states again that she wasn't bleeding before he used his arm on her. But didn't he say he thought she started bleeding in the closet after he used the beer bottle? And didn't they end up in the bathroom after that where she asked him to put his arm inside her? Hmm, something's not adding up. He continues to tell police that he's being totally honest with them, but... He just can't remember why Maria was injured to the point of brutal, sadistic death. At this point, he's sticking to his story that whatever he did to Maria, he did only because she asked him to. Again, it's odd how he's easily able to remember that, but not what killed his girlfriend. After detectives take a break, they return to the interrogation room and notice that Fidel Lopez has drawn an engine on notebook paper while alone in the room. Imagine you're being questioned after possibly drunkenly killing your girlfriend during sex one week after moving in with her. You got that image in your head? Okay, good, sorry. But would you be in any condition to doodle? Wouldn't you be an absolute emotional wreck? Of course you would, so would I. Any decent-minded person would be. But we have yet to see a single tear from Fidel Lopez. Not one. But after speaking to the medical examiner, Detectives let Mr. Lopez know that it's time for him to come clean. Oh, it's just not for me. Just doodling. Huh? Doodling. What? Huh? Doodling. Drawing. Drawing. What is that? Car? Hot rod? You see? We got, we got a little bit of a problem. Okay. Yes. All right. I just got off the phone with our uh, crime scene, and the medical examiner is there. Okay? The doctor. And she, there's the injury to her is severe. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Yes. Um, multiple injuries inside there. Tissue ripped out. What is that? Tissue inside. All the insides out on the floor. 
what else? That's, that's the cost of the day? Yeah. We think. You know the amount of blood that's in there? They, her insides were ripped out. Mm. What happened, man? What happened? Mm, Fidel, this is not a case of just rough sex. Yeah. Okay? This is not a case of rough sex. Um, There's blood everywhere. Yeah, I, everywhere. Listen, listen, just tell us. I'm, you know, I'm just no, doing whatever she was telling me to do. She man. wasn't telling you to do that. Oh, that's, yeah. Listen, Fidel. The amount of pain that she would have been in would have been unbearable. Okay? The amount the doctor just looked inside of her, the amount of pain that she would have had, she wouldn't have been able to withstand it. I don't, I don't kill her, man. I don't. We're gonna say you. We're gonna say you intended to. No one's saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you you I, wanted to. I, I, I hear, I, I hear your remorse. Listen, I, I heard the remorse in your in your voice when when you're you're trying to get help, and I understand that you care for her, and this is someone you love. I don't care. But man. however, there's injuries inside of her that need to be explained. She was just telling me whatever the, the, what I was doing. She just tell me, do it this, do it, man. She was telling me. I she understand, but that's me. that. Listen, you as a human being, you as someone that loves this girl, would not be doing that to her, even if she was asking you. We both were it's, wrong, man. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. That doesn't make a difference in this situation. Okay, there's serious injury to her. There's things that were done in in there. And I think you have a little bit of a conscience, and you were worried. You were you were worried because you, you even cleaned the blood off yourself. Okay. And hey, listen, look, you're not you. You love this girl. I okay? love her, man. Of this course. Is some, so I know what happened in there is not something that you expected to happen. Okay. It just things got things went wrong. Things went bad. But it's important for you to be honest about it and tell us Mom, the truth. Man, I've been because telling you I, I know I know you're saying that you put your arm inside of her. I know you're saying that you put bottles inside of her and everything else. But there's more to it. There's more to this story. There's more to the story. And if you really love and care for this girl, and you have a heart, you'll tell us what happened so that we can have some closure for her. Because listen, listen. There's more to the story than what you're telling us, and there's more that you remember. Okay, I know you're saying you don't, but you remember ex specific details here and here, but the, the part in the middle, you're blocking out because it hurts you. The fact that that happened, it hurts you that that, that occurred. It's got to be bothering you. I, I, listen, what, what they, I just saw pictures, and I'm going to show you some pictures in a little bit, okay, and show you what I just saw. It's devastating. And to do the right thing for her, and the right thing for yourself, and the right thing for her family. I do the right thing. Whatever I have to be done, I'll do it. The right thing is to tell us what happened. I told you Tell everything. us the truth of what happened. i tell you the truth. i tell you everything, what happened. Everything that I remember, that's what I told you. But there's more that you remember. No, I don't remember. You're blocking anything. it out, but there's more that you remember. It's not that I'm blocking it out. Fidel, do you, let me ask you a question. Do you do you want to be looked at as an animal? Oh, what? Do you want to be looked at as a monster? Of course. As not. someone who's careless? Of course not. Exactly. Because I don't think you're that person. I'm not that person. Okay. I have two kids so, and I have my job. But okay. So listen, that's what we're saying. I don't think you're a monster either. I don't think you intended for any of this to happen. Of course not. Okay. But but at some point, but you at got, some point, at some point, you got upset and you became enraged. That there's there's a point in that time when you when that happened something something snapped something upset you. No, nothing, man. Nothing. Because we just the damage doing... that you caused in that house, that house was not in that condition prior to all this going on. All of a sudden now there's holes and everything is destroyed. She's got internal injuries that need to, that you're saying is just caused from a bottle, and that's not the truth. Those injuries that's not the truth. There's more that was up inside of her. There's more that was done, and. There's no way she could have dealt with that pain without either being unconscious or telling you she to was, stop. She was, she was, she was, she was talking to me. She was like, well, normal, maybe, like, may, maybe in your head you're thinking that. But nah. well, I know she might have been talking at the beginning, but there, there's some point in time when she's not <clears> conscious <throat> because what is what was taken out of her 
It's impossible. For when you. she was not conscious, when I came into the to the bathroom, she was not breathing. She was like <gasps> like this. That's the point that she was unconscious. But when we doing the stuff, she was talking to me. She was telling me, "Do it, do it, do it. Keep doing." Fidel, so just this, this is not rough sex, man. I told you that. This is not. This is. This is a lot more than rough sex. I know, I know. Okay, so if you know, explain to us. Tell us. I understand. Tell us. I did everything she told me to do. When I don't. I don't know. I what else did, did you put inside before. of her besides a beer bottle in your fist? What else? This and the bottle. What else? And, and that thing that you said for the hair could be possible too. The flat the, iron. The, the thing for the hair. What else? Nothing else that I remember. What did in the closet? At some point, stuff that's inside of her came out. And stuff of yeah, her, her stomach, was part of her body, part of her body tissue, is out inside the closet, on the ground. How's gonna, how can that be possible, man? You tell me. It's only possible. It's only possible by what was going on in there. I find it hard to believe that she got up and walked to the bathroom after she what happened to, to her bathroom. inside the closet. She walked to the bathroom. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't bleed out in the closet. She bleed? No, I like you. bleed out, like not be able to breathe and pass away in the closet from the amount of blood that she lost. No, she was in the bathroom. She, she, she was. She told me she wanted to throw up, and when I did, you, back, did you drag her to the bathroom? <clears throat> no, she was she was normal. She was like, what do you mean normal? Like, like she could have been normal because her insides are on the floor. She was fed out. walking. Okay, Look, she was walking to the bathroom. When you put your hand inside of your fist, were you? I'm not trying to be funny when I do this. I'm asking. Did you? Were you doing this? Yeah. Okay. When you pulled your hand out, did you have anything in your hand? I don't know. Blood, I guess. Anything else? You feel anything in your hand? No, that I remember, like you know, squishy, just, anything? Just, just blood. I mean, full of blood. I mean, not. Oh come on, man. I'm asking. No one's saying you intended hey, yeah. for this no, to happen. No, of course not. Exactly. That's why we're out. We're trying to. We're trying to figure this out. We have to explain to the doctor, and we have to explain to other people that are looking at this what happened. Okay, we have to explain how she got into this condition. Part of her insides, from her inside of her body, are on the floor in the closet. We're not saying you're a killer, okay? No, I'm not. Because you're not a murderer. You're not a killer. This is no, not you, okay? No, but you have to be honest of what happened in there so that we can put the pieces together. Yes, yes, everything yes. I've been telling you is everything I know. You but know, there's some things that you're leaving out. There's I'm some not things. Leaving anything there's out. some things that you're leaving out because you're afraid. You're afraid that it's going to make you, you. You think that it's going to make you look bad. It's going to make other people look at you bad. But you know what's going to happen? If you're not honest and tell us what actually occurred in that house. And we're trying to put all this together. That shows that maybe you know what? Maybe he is a bad person. Maybe he what is a cold-hearted killer. Maybe he doesn't love her. And I don't think that's you. No, that's not me. Man. It's not you. I know you, you. You have care and concern for this girl. All right. Do you love this girl? Of course, babe. Okay. Would you do anything to hurt her? Of course not. Okay. But you did. Right. How can you blandly just sit there and lie? And I'm not leaving anything out of this. But, but you did. You understand you. that you hurt her. Right now, I understand everything you told me. You but you knew, right now. but but you know you did because you saw the blood. Yeah, blood is not blood. normal. Blood from sex is not normal. That amount of blood is not normal. Okay. Did it, the injuries that were caused to her, she didn't do them to herself. Of course not. And there was no one else in the apartment. It was me. It was you. I know. Okay. I know that. So, explain to us how. Part of her insides, part of her inside of her body. Listen, why, why did you why did you wash your hands? Why did you wash? Because your I went off? outside to smoke a cigarette. Why? Yeah, but you cleaned up more than just the, the amount of blood that's in that apartment, all over the walls and on the floor. You had a lot more blood than just side in your arm. You had a lot more blood than just on that right arm. No, you you didn't taste me, man. I don't even have soap in my hand. I just put water and wash the hands. Where, where else was blood on your body? I don't know, just my hand. Maybe this one. But Both hands? this one is the one I no, this one is the one I use. Your right arm? Yeah, this okay. one. Okay. But did you have blood on that on that arm Maybe too? if I touch myself for you. What about your legs? The legs and the floor. Well you had that blood on your legs because there's blood all over the floor. 
It's a blood on the floor. That's wow. what I have. Li that's what I blow on my yeah, but You don't have really a lot of blood on your legs. Did you go into the shower and wash off? No. Because you said you put the shower on. To put water on her face because she wasn't breathing. It is when I called the police, the 911. What about a towel? Did you use a towel? I know. I don't use no to towel. To dry so off? To mm -hmm. wipe anything down? I don't think so. I don't know. No, it's important you that you, so. you... I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't use nothing. Man. I don't use no, no towels or, or something like that. So after, you, after you called 911 the first time and the phone went down, you say you dropped the phone or you disconnected because they, couldn't get, the ad, they the couldn't get the address, correct? Yeah. Or what did you do phone. from that point to when the police got there? Try to wake him up, try to give her CPR or something. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. Okay. Not breathing at all. Did she ever ask for help? No. Her? No. She was a... <gasps> Did she ever ask, tell you to stop or that she was in Never. pain or hurting? Never. She was talking, you know, like, keep going, keep going. That's it. But she never told me, stop, I don't know what... I, I, I don't even know how fucking shit from her body come out of there. Really don't know. I mean, like... Well, listen. You see that, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Just a visual. All the way there. here. If you put your whole arm inside her, you were up inside her stomach. Correct? What the... Why... No, I mean, I'm just saying. You're... Think realistic. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're putting no, your whole no, arm inside no, her. No, where's no, your no. hand at that point? It's not in her vagina anymore, right? I understand. It's up inside her stomach. Well, why is she didn't tell me to stop or something? We don't know. <clears throat> and the stuff and, and the part of her body from the, from her insides that's on the floor, it's not. It wouldn't just fall out of her. It would have to be pulled out of her. I didn't pull anything. I like it. When she had, where was it that she had trouble breathing? In the bathroom. So she was fine in the closet. Yeah, she was fine. She was, she was, she was okay. Let me get. She was wrong, just like mine, just like me. But but like I said in the bathroom is when I when I get nervous and she wasn't breathing. Was she coherent? Huh? Was she like awake during that time? I yeah, mean, she you was. You're saying drunk, but was she? Did she know what was going on? Of course. She was the one that told me put the bottle on me. I understand. She was the one that told me use your hand. I mean, of course, I, I wouldn't do it if she wouldn't tell me that. Yeah, I know. I she never... said to put your hand, but you put your arm. Mm -hmm. Listen. Listen. You know, when you put your arm in someone and go up inside their and inside their intestines, that's oh that's God. damaging. That's damaging. It's not sexual. That's torture. Is it possible that she passed out while you had your arm inside of her? No, she was awake. She was, she was, she was like, like, like having fun. Like you know, like, like having fun. It's not like a, like a scream of pain or something. Like just having fun. You know, like that's how come I, that's how come I say I don't. Oh. Were you, were you upset at her? No, I was, of course not. You were upset at something. You were mad. You were angry. Listen, like I explained to you. I mean, you're feeling no pain because you're punching wall holes and walls and doors and everything else and breaking glass. There's. I don't remember when I don't know of that bad. I know I did it. Yeah. But I don't know why, and I don't remember how, how we what I break the door. I know maybe the holes with my hand. But, but like, I, like I explained to you earlier, I have that temperature, she knows, she will, will live in all the places, and she knows I do the same thing. I understand. You know? I understand, but then at that point, I think maybe the rage when you guys are having sex continued. I think it continued no, because her. you shoved your fist up into her stomach, inside her, her guts. You know why I think she was passed out when you had your fist inside of her? I'll explain to you why. Why? Because what came out of her insides, there's no way she could have been conscious and not been in horrible, horrible, horrible I mean, pain. Explain to me, it's from her, of course, inside of her body. But why? When I pull my arm, and you obviously pulled it out. 
No, I don't. I don't grab anything. I mean, just put my hand. That's it. And no, you put your you put your arm up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like like he just said. Look how far that is. I know. Okay. I know, but I don't, I don't grab anything and put it. But, but, but if we come something out of there, I, I really don't know. I mean, oh man. Whoa. His arm was in his girlfriend up to his elbow, and she was telling him to keep going? I don't buy that shit for a second. Nope. This monster was angry about something, and he was dishing out punishment. And that's fairly obvious. I'll even go as far as to say that I don't believe anything Fidel Lopez did to Maria Namath that night was consensual. Let me remind you again. She was found in the bathroom, while there were chunks of her left in the closet. You do the math. Reports state that multiple people heard a commotion inside the apartment, with next door neighbors gone. recalling hearing a man's voice yelling inside the residence, coupled with loud banging noises that lasted about two hours. Another man was walking through the parking lot where he claims he heard a woman scream. The woman living in the apartment just below the crime scene stated that she heard loud noises like banging but figured someone was probably just moving stuff. But she did say that after one heavy thud just above them, she actually thought her ceiling fan was going to come crashing down. And yet even another neighbor heard some kind of heated exchange that she thought would have woken up other residents. All of these reports were witnessed around 1 a.m., but no one called the cops other than Fidel Lopez. During the interrogation, investigators ask Fidel if she was pregnant. Fidel says no. They continue to ask if she was pregnant to someone else, but Lopez confirms that he does not believe Maria cheated on him. But there's still a clear gap between what Fidel says happened in the closet and what happened in the bathroom. Detectives want answers.